Hey, it's me, Raika. Today, we're going to have a look at the brand new feature that has been added to the game, Gear Resonance. Now, this is a massive quality of life feature that has been added. And what this allows you to do, this allows you to take any piece of gear that you may have and upgrade it to tier three. Now, this is a massive change as this allows you to essentially equip top tier gear on every single one of your heroes. So how does this work? Each time we upgrade a piece of gear from Mythic to T1, we'll get one token. And once we have 100 tokens of the specific tier, so in this case T1, we'll be able to upgrade to the next tier. So once we upgrade it, all of our heroes will have T1 gear. Now the same is true for tier two. Once we have 100 heroes that have equipped or upgraded to tier two gear, this will allow us to essentially upgrade every single hero to tier two with a faction bonus. So how does this look? So every single gear piece that the heroes will have will be faction. So if they're, for example, one of the four factions, Celestial Apogeans, or dimensional, they will have a piece of faction gear. It will be upgraded to tier two. However, it will have no stars equipped. Now, once you have 100 pieces of those, you may upgrade to the next tier. The final tier would be tier three. So all of the heroes will be upgraded to T3 gear. However, they will not gain their specific faction or hero bonuses. So let's have a look at how this works. So for example, we have many dimensional heroes which require a significant amount of gear investment. So let's have a look at this hero, Leonardo. Now, as we can see, I've currently upgraded to tier three. So all of my heroes will have T2 with their respective faction equipped. Now, if we, for example, deactivate this, this will remove the resonance, and we can see that this hero only has mythic tier gear. Now, the hero gained a significant amount of primary and secondary stats, being HP, attack, defense, and various important secondary stats. Some of these include, such as haste, magic, and physical resist accuracy dodge and various other stats to help the hero survive so in this case the hero has 30 points and once we apply gear resonance to the specific hero they'll have an additional point of extra stats that will be applied to the hero so this allows you to essentially not have to swap gear sets around while pushing campaign or the various king's tower now this is crucial as this allows you to essentially work on heroes that you specifically want to get to, for example, T4 or T3 gear, while all of your other heroes are at the maximum level. Now, you can easily get these tokens from the guild store, AFK drops, and from the field of stars upgrades. As the field of stars increase the chances that you can get these gear token upgrades from your AFK rewards. Now, in addition, the shop has also allowed you to buy tokens from this respective shop. So as we can see, we can buy T1 choice chests, which essentially allow you to buy any T1 gear for strength, agility, or intelligence based heroes. Then we have T2 tokens that we can buy as well for our respective heroes. And then we have T3 tokens, which are no longer on a cooldown as they used to be, which you could only buy two per month. Now you can buy as they soon as they come to the daily reset. In addition, there are also T4 tokens, which are limited to two per month. So another key important feature that this is extremely important is, let's say a hero, for example, in this case, Rowan, has T3 gear. So how does this apply to him? So this 
counts as a T1 upgrade, T2, and a T3 upgrade. So those 100 points that you need for each stage will be counted three times for those respective stages. So once for the T1, once for the T2, and once for the T3 upgrades. This is applicable to all heroes and is extremely powerful for your teams. So as we can see here, Roan is at the max gear and you cannot activate the attribute system for him. So you can still swap gear pieces between heroes. So let's say for example, a hero such as Thorin, who has his resonance um, unlocked, you can deactivate his gear resonance and you can select the gear pieces that you would like him to use. So if you have a specific gear piece that you would like to equip on Thorin, you can see over here and you can activate it and you can see it's upgraded all the way to the highest gear resonance that you may have. And when you deactivate it, it goes back to its original stage. The next feature that is extremely important is you cannot upgrade the gear once it is at its uh, resonating in the specific gear resonance. So as we can see here, even though the other pieces may be enhanced and be five stars as well, they will not carry over the stats if they are at tier two. So let's have a look at another hero. So for example, Entandra. Now she has the maximum gear resonance being T2 with five stars, so you cannot activate it for that respective hero. However, if for example, you change this to another set, so for example, that piece of gear, you can activate gear resonance and or equip that maximum tier for that respective hero. So if you're missing one or two pieces for that specific hero, you can easily activate the resonance and this will increase the power of that specific hero. So once you've reached maximum resonance for the specific event, you can only get T3 gear that is unenhanced and is without the specific hero bonuses. So when you have the maximum gear resonance unlocked, the specific hero will have no hero bonus. So that means these specific stats at the bottom. However, these stats over here, they will be able to benefit from all of those stats given. So this is an excellent feature that has been added to the game and will allow players to easily push through their respective campaign and King's Tower more easily.